Hello and welcome to another Paris Pickup. Thanks very much for joining us today. So this episode we've got something a little bit different. It's going to be a Lemming special. And um, for those who don't know, I've been collecting Lemmings games for quite some time now. And because I've had quite a lot of Lemmings games over the years to add to the collection, I haven't featured them on the Paris Pickups, at least I don't think so. Not yeah, there are 93 episodes now, so you know there's a lot to uh, remember. But today we're dedicating it all to Lemmings. That's four Lemmings games. And uh, yeah, let's. without further ado, let's start off with the first one. And this is the original Lemmings for the Game Boy. Now this is actually the US edition of the game. Uh, it looks very similar to the PAL copy. Here is the PAL copy of the game. Um, and there are only some slight uh, differences on the front cover here. You can see the American one zoomed out quite a lot compared to the PAL one and the uh, Game Boy Game Pack symbol was in a different place but on the back they're quite a lot different and this is where I'm at with Lemmings collecting regional variants <laughs> it's not something I do uh, collect a lot of but for Lemmings and also Worms I do have quite a lot of games now Lemmings, like I say, have branched out into the regional variants, so that's... yeah. But I don't do it with many games, just my favourites. And so what can I say about uh, Lemmings on the Game Boy? Well, it's not my favourite version of Lemmings, by a long way. Um, this is... the main reason I'm going to say is because... It's, also quite, it's quite small, of course, playing on a Game Boy screen at least, as you see in this footage. Um, this footage was hard to film, by the way, so excuse any uh, blurriness or anything. Uh, but it's not that bad. It holds up pretty well. The thing I don't like about it, particularly, is the angle at which the Lemmings build um, bridges at. Now, you get used to playing Lemmings, you get used to them building them at a certain angle like this, whereas this one, they build them like that, so the strategies you usually would uh, use for certain levels, you have to change slightly. Uh, there are other some other differences about this Lemmings game. Levels are a little bit different in places. Uh, you get there's less lemmings on screen. In fact, this is the version of lemmings with the least uh, lemmings to save on it. And you know that that's okay. Uh, that's not a massive problem. But there's no release rate change. You can't change the speed at which they come out, which creates some quite slow uh, gameplay in places. Uh, it is very good considering the hardware. But uh, I remember I played this ages ago and uh, I got to a particular point and it was, everything was very small. It's hard to pick out particular lemmings to give uh, attributes to. And uh, yeah, it, it gets more difficult because of the limitations of the hardware and uh, the way this game's done than, you know, than it should be, really. So, Lemmings on the Game Boy wouldn't be my go-to portable version of Lemmings, but it does have very good music, I have to add. Uh, very good music indeed. Uh, the music you'll be hearing here and seeing footage of now will be captured on the Game Boy player, so the colours are going to be a little bit off. Um, they did end up looking quite weird when playing it through the Game Boy player, actually, uh, if you compare it to how it normally looks on the Game Boy. But, you know, uh, it was maybe slightly easier to play it on a bigger screen, to be honest. Uh, which, obviously, I did when capturing that particular footage. So the music is, is really nice. It's better than some other portable version of Lemmings, I would say. I think it's all a matter of preference, though. Uh, personally, I like it. Uh, also note that this version has some, there's some visual edits to the Lemmings games. For example, uh, some of the more fiery hell-like levels, you'd go into a demon's mouth at the end of the level, instead of the usual exit gateways. And some of the versions of Lemmings have the demon's horns taken off, uh, because it looks a little bit like a devil and could be considered offensive to some people. So, I, I think that's a silly alteration for me, personally. I mean, there's those people out there who probably, you know, there was a age where uh, people were very concerned about uh, satanic messages and songs and films and maybe in video games as well so maybe that's the reason why these visual edits were made. This one retains the horns maybe because it's a Game Boy game uh, people don't care as much because the graphics are smaller and there's uh, no colour in this particular version of Lemmings 
But um, yeah, I just thought I'd mention that as an interesting side note to this game. So uh, there's not much I can say about this particular version that's different from the PAL version. You've got the diff some differences on the box and you've also got uh, different leaflets that were made for them released in the US which promote games and things. But otherwise it's, it's the same game essentially. So we move on to another regional variant of the original Lemmings for a portable console again. And this one is uh, Lemmings for the Game Gear. So the footage you'll see of this one, unfortunately, I had to use emulation to capture. I don't have a working Game Gear at the moment. Uh, I will do very soon. One is on its way to me, I'm very happy to say, and uh, perhaps we'll do a little video about that. Uh, maybe show Lemmings on it. Um, but yes, I had to use uh, emulation for this, so that's the footage you'll be seeing now. Uh, it's basically like the Mass System version of Lemmings. Game Gear and Mass System versions of Game Synth tended to be very similar. Uh, but of course, because of the Game Gear's smaller screen, the action is zoomed in quite a bit. Uh, it works rather well. Uh, in, in the Game Boy version, you press B to bring up your uh, list of uh, skills and jobs to give the Lemmings. And in this game though, you just move the cursor to the bottom and it brings up the uh, job list. So that's another way of doing it. I think I prefer it rather than having another button to press, which uh, is another reason why Lemmings on the Game Boy isn't probably as good as this. Uh, this one is certainly a lot more playable and a lot more like the Lemmings you're probably used to if you've played a lot of the uh, Amiga or Mega Drive Super Nintendo versions, for example more popular uh, home releases. Uh, so I'd recommend this over Game Boy uh, Lemmings if you want a version of Lemmings uh, to play on the go. Uh, probably the best portable version of Lemmings though is the... Uh, what's it called? The portable... Uh, Lynx! The Atari Lynx! Sorry, I totally uh, lost my train of thought there. The Atari Lynx version of Lemmings, which actually I have done a little video on, on uh, which I can link to, so you can go and check that out. Uh, that's probably the best portable version of the original Lemmings, uh, forgetting all the redos that came out on the PSP and uh, and such. But uh, yeah, the music in this, I don't like it as much as the Game Boy music. I don't think it is as true to the original compositions as that version of the game is. Uh, I think both versions have different music than are on the more popular, bigger versions of Lemmings. Uh, I can't remember exactly. Also, this doesn't mess with the uh, levels as much as the Game Boy Lemmings does. It doesn't change things up, give you extra Lemmings types, different ways to finish levels. There's more Lemmings, not a lot more Lemmings, but uh, there certainly are more. You can change the release rate, so it's it's better. And this is the Japanese version of it. A uh, much smaller case than traditional uh, PAL uh, Game Gear, even US copies. Uh, as is the same with the uh, Japanese uh, Game Boy cases. And uh, here's what you get inside, for those curious. Very cute, small little manual there. And you get, you could get the cartridge, a little tray. And uh, it's a nice little plastic Game Gear cartridge. So that's Lemmings on the Game Gear. Uh, well recommended, nice uh, port of Lemmings. And while we're on the subject of ports, I must want to recommend a great book and a fantastic resource for any Lemmings fan or Lemmings game collector. And that is Lemmings the Ports by Justin Castle. This is a book, I think you can still get this book um, on Amazon, I think that's where I got it from. Uh, and this is a great book, uh, Justin spent a lot of time researching just about every, uh, every release of Lemmings, writing a little bit about it, some of the regional variants, so uh, you can get and all the levels. You can gain a lot of insight from this particular book, so if you're a Lemmings fan, I would totally recommend picking up Justin Castle's book on Lemmings. It's well worth your time. So we'll move to uh, some bigger boxes now, and these, uh, this next one is a PC version of Lemmings. Uh, I'm quite familiar with this version. 
as it was one I used to own, well still do own, but I didn't own this version of the box. I own the, uh, when it gains out for a while, sold a few copies, there uh, becomes a budget range. I own the budget range version of this with much smaller box art, so it is great to have this with the the massive Lemmings Windows 95 box art. Of course, this is the, not the only version of Lemmings Windows 95. This is the one that comes with uh, Lemmings Paintball, which I didn't capture any footage of today. In fact, I find it difficult to get footage of uh, Lemmings Windows 95 because the laptop that I was using, so that I use a Mac normally, uh, didn't seem to like the OBS uh, capture software at all. So I had to resort to getting the footage you see now, which is a video camera pointed at the <laughs> computer. But you get an idea that uh, it plays in a window as standard. And this is Lemmings for Windows 95, and it plays great. I mean, it's a great version of Lemmings. Mouse and keyboard is the way to go, or just mouse for uh, Lemmings. So I like it, but I, it's a bit small. The graphics have been redone slightly and are a bit sharper. Uh, it's a good version of Lemmings, but... Uh, doesn't have that same nostalgia as some of the menus and such changed around so and there's the, the back of the box now if you if you're not familiar with this uh, I'll just pull this other one out that I've got here you might be more familiar with this release of it this is just Lemmings Windows 95 of course it's also got uh, original and oh no more Lemmings that is the one you're probably more familiar with, I'm guessing, uh, than, than this one, maybe. But uh, it's notable for the uh, having Lemmings paintball with it. So that's that one. And lastly, we have one more for you today. And that's one I haven't been able to capture any gameplay footage of because this is for a format I can't play. And when I started collecting Lemmings games, I was reluctant to buy copies of the game for formats that I wouldn't be able to use but uh, this one was cheap enough and interesting enough to get. This is the uh, Imagining a Mac selection. This is a Japanese Mac version of Lemmings and it's very interesting because it comes in this big plastic case. So well in the UK we had cardboard cases for PC Mac games mostly. Uh, the regular Lemmings for Mac which I have here as everything just falls apart around me uh, is in a cardboard case that's the uh, it's got a, a sleeve on it so that was the uh, Mac version that means we got in the UK I think um, so that's that one and then we compare that to the Japanese release both have different artwork or oh, this one is unique I think to uh, at least in this form, format there, to the Mac version. It's a really nice cover, it's one of my favourite uh, Lemmings covers. But um, this one here, I'll open it up for you. You've got the manual in one side, it's all quite loose and slaps around a bit. Uh, that's the manual for it. And it's a black and white thing. Got some little Lemmings pictures in, I think it has got some pictures, yeah in places, in the corners, there. Um, it's got an interesting odour to it as well. Uh, it's, just, it's, a, it's not a bad odour, it's just a, a different one I'm not so familiar with. It's got a sort of like registration card and the, the game is on a few different discs here. Uh, music and program discs uh, and then that's the third disc there. It's nice it's got them little things to keep the cut the discs in at least and yeah that's that's the box Japanese lemmings for Mac and that is it for this episode of Paris Pickups I hope you've enjoyed this slight diversion from my usual videos we have done a Tetra special before but uh before you know the end of Paris Pickups uh, I wanted to cover Lemmings at least in one episode. If you'd like to see more of my Lemmings collection we can do a whole separate video on that if you're interested. Just let me know in the comments below if that's something you'd like to see. It would be quite a challenge to capture gameplay footage for all of it uh, <laughs> but uh, I'll, I'll try my best to make a, a nice video out of it if that's something you want to see. Uh, so thanks very much for taking time to watch the video. I hope you've enjoyed it 
and until next time, bye for now and game on.